Well, Triple H has said before, you know, we're open for business, whatnot. As from what I understand, yourself and the Young Bucks have spoken to him in the past. Do you think mm -hmm. maybe it's a case that one day down the road, when maybe mm -hmm. he has more power, that things uh -huh. might be different? Um, so the way I like to look at it is that there's two perspectives. And there's the perspective of, from the boys and, um, you know, the wrestlers, the people that don't really have to, uh, they don't have to, to take, to take the uh, business calls and have to go to the marketing meetings. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all for being able to work with new and exciting talent and, and with a lot of people that are their friends. Um, so all the boys are, are, are completely 100,000% up for it. However, wrestling isn't just wrestling. It's also a, a business. and a lot of people live and die by how the business um, is going for said promotion. So it's difficult for a company to, after weighing out the pros and cons of a possible talent exchange or an amalgamation or a trade or you know a, a company versus company situation, mm -hmm. it's all you can do is take a very educated guess as to how you're going to come out of that. Are you going to come out of that? looking stronger are you going to come out of that losing money losing prestige losing value um and i understand that there's a fear to that and to me i always feel that if the fans win and even if your company wins via a fraction of a percent look that's a victory you never had going into it going into a talent exchange going into working with someone else who cares if a company you know let's say another company ends up looking better maybe they get an extra little bit of profit out of it um maybe their 5% increase uh, beat out your 2% increase. That's just two victories. There's no loser in that battle. And if the fans are more happy and they seem more excited to watch your next uh, you know, weekly television show or next pay-per-view, I see that just being the start of many other victories to come because now you've made, not only have you made a new fan or, or you've, re you've rejuvenated an old fan into being more excited for your product. Yeah, that makes a total amount of sense to me. Um, yeah, I guess I guess we can only say. You know, I, I just wondered from you actually speaking to Triple H what you thought his oh, outlook well, was. But I mean, sure. I guess we I, really I can definitely speak to that. Um, he I, people change from day to day. You know what I mean? Um, you could you could have a bad day and, and completely change your mind on a, on a topic. However, when I did speak um, at length with uh, Triple H. Um, he he it really felt like he uh he understood um a lot of my uh a lot of my thought process and and that not only was i um looking to unite and sort of unify the world of professional wrestling but um no he 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 definitely got it and but the thing is you know i also understand their side of things too there is no right there's no right or wrong way anymore in, in, in wrestling. It's just, I just think if, if to me, it's the, the, the outlook that I take on everything is just, if, if we can make the fans enjoy what we do more like that, that's the right way. Um, but I do try to get into the heads and, and see things from a different viewpoint where I'm not a suit in, in a, in a business meeting. I'm not punching a clock and I don't have to look at the numbers and crunch, you know, all the data that goes from day to day, month to month. I'm just a performer and, um, you know, I, I kind of do have my hand in a little bit of these types of things, but I still find myself worrying about the quality of the show and making our fan and consumer happy. And I think Triple H is still being one of the boys for the better part of his career. I'm sure that a big part of what he, um, you know, how he runs his business and how he looks at, you know, um, WWE and NXT and all those things that he, he has a finger in. I really do think that he does it for the sake of the fans as well, which is why when he does say things like, you know, we are open for business. I do think that if there's a situation which could maybe eliminate some of the, uh, the worries and, and fears from the other people that have a say in making these, these types of things happen. Um, I, I do see it being a reality, but again, for us with impact with new Japan, it took for, <clears throat> a global pandemic for for this to actually happen sure so um <laughs> who knows what what it would take for for it to happen on their end but um as long as they know that you know at least at least in the aw side um they've got 
more than one EVP looking to make this a better and brighter place for every wrestling fan, um, young or old, and po possibly the disenfranchised wrestling fan, the, the fan that used to be a fan but isn't one anymore. We, we want to make this a, a fun thing for everyone. And if that includes um, working with literally everyone, which I think would make everyone happy, then I'm all for it. Um, and I would lobby very hard for it and fight tooth and nail to make it happen. But um, again, we're, the, the wrestlers are, are, aren't usually the ones that make those big types of decisions. I plan to take that title all over the world, not just New Japan. It's about to be a global championship. So wherever that championship ends up, whether it's on United States TV, Japan TV, Mexico TV, Germany TV, anywhere all over the world is wherever I choose to make it happen. So whoever has the best bag, whoever writes the best check for Mercedes Monet, that's where I might end up at. <laughs>